What's up everybody? Welcome to the Lick of the Day guitar lessons. Today's Lick of the Day, I'm going to show you how to play uh, the country music scale. Now, this is not a, a real scale in a book. I sort of found this scale by just transcribing guys like Brad Paisley and Johnny Hyland and sort of found uh, some similarities in their playing with this sort of box scale that I'm going to show you. Now this scale works over uh, dominant seventh chords. So with country guitar playing, and not all type of country, not not the more modern country, but um, stuff that involves like chicken picking, like working man blues, Merle Haggard, uh, That's All Right Mama, Elvis Presley, Six Days on the Road, these type of songs where they're all major chords and typically the beat is sort of a two beat or a uh, train beat. Um, you assume that all the chords are dominant. So when you see major, you know, G to C to D, it's like a blues. You you assume, okay, G7, C7, D7, G7. So that's how uh, we're gonna treat these chords. Now I'm gonna do this in the key of G to sort of demonstrate some of the open string possibilities. Um, the scale is out of, everybody knows this sort of, that kind of box. Really it's E minor. minor uh, pentatonic but we're gonna add some notes that maybe you wouldn't normally add so here's the scale starting on G so really it's like a mixolydian scale with a, a minor third added and then you also play the open uh, the major third so G flat seven six Five, four, three, flat three, two, open, flat seven, uh, six, five, four, three. There, I don't play the uh, the flat, but we'll add it again. And G. So this is a really easy sort of box to play out of. Here I'm sliding into my. Some G's. I'll do that all the time. Now, in this scale, we have all sorts of possibilities we can do. First of all, uh, like the most probably basic country lick you can do is right. So that's starting on G, walking up to the third. So that's the kind of playing we're talking about. Now we got all this. But if I start on this G, I have that run right there. And that's a great one if you're trying to play some chicken picking. And you can add all the chromatics like right here. You've got the um, sharp four or the tritone, the blue note. So I can do stuff like this. And this is all in my G pattern. Now also we have a bunch of bends that we can throw in there. Everybody knows this, like I said before, but what if we bend up this note and then we can bend up to any of the notes above it in the scale. So check this out. Now I'm bending it to G, E, D, C, unison bend right okay so we've got that uh, and this is all G7 another one of my favorites is to bend the E up to F and then play the open um, G string even open G and B so here we've got a G7 chord The scale is just a way to sort of start and, and sort of see like some of the more uh, prevalent notes, but as you get better at the scale, you can totally break out of it and go into other stuff. So there I'm just adding some passing tones. And then uh, another noteworthy lick is this. Now this I'm playing 
the minor third and the major third. And I use this all the time. Uh, I love the sound of that dissonance, that half step. You're gonna hear it in all kinds of music across the board. Right, so let's move this into a um, closed position since that was open. So now we'll move it into the key of A. Up a whole step, so remember we're over A7. So our scale is. some hybrid picking so I'm holding the pick between my thumb and index finger and I'm using my middle and ring finger to pluck the G and B strings okay so check out some of this stuff same with that bend right if we have an a7 chord this is a great bend this is our two up to the third the fifth and the flat seven so you've got three five flat seven just that, just like that, there's a, a perfect A7 chord. Get that. And of course, as you go up the neck, like in the key of uh, D, for instance, that bend's gonna be a lot easier. Um, but back, back down to here. Here we got this lick. I always love to start runs out like this. That's sort of a, a cool little idea. Here's that same kind of idea I was playing in G. Let's see if I can replicate this in A. Not as easy in the close position, but hey. So that's the uh, country music scale, as I like to call it. Um, again, you can also throw in your flatted fifths. So let me know if you found this helpful. Um, when I sort of discovered this, I would just take any uh, chord. Oh, okay, so like, let's say we're playing a chord progression, right? Working man's blues. So I'm soloing over this chord. Now I'm in D. I'm gonna do the same thing up here. Back down to A. So I can do it over any of the chords, I just move it up. stuff and right there I also love to do this where I go you can slide this lick up and that takes you right into the next chord here with D so that is the eight note country scale um, I hope you found this lesson helpful please like and subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when I post new videos um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there's uh, anything you'd like me to break down in upcoming videos. I'd love to see your comments and hear your suggestions. So uh, until the next video, 